stop you. We have disclosure by the Pentagon. At last. Now, we know that the Department of Defense and the Pentagon have confirmed that the Pentagon was involved in a $22 million project that dealt with the study of UFOs. No, 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 not the study of UFOs, sorry. A UFO chasing program. We've been shooting them down since the 50s. And also, uh, by, uh, I guess, coincidence, I guess, without knowing it, in 1947, when they shot down uh, two craft over Roswell, New Mexico. Yes, there was two of them within the span of a, uh, a week. Uh, and that was only two months before the CIA was then created. Right, well now we that, of course, confirmation that 22 million were allotted between the years 2007 and 2012 for this UFO chasing program in which they were sending, the Pentagon has admitted it, the Pentagon spokeswoman as well, they are white, uh, as well as the Department of Defense has confirmed it. And there are documents, congressional documents, reports of communications uh, with the Pentagon as well, and with contractors like Bigelow Airspace. That's right. That offered its facilities in order to uh, relocate pieces of crashes, of crashed UFOs and fully, you know, still half or whatever, fully maybe intact UFOs into certain specific locations. No longer just Wright Patterson Air Force uh, Base in Ohio like it used to be, where they sent the wreckage from Roswell 1947, 1947, on the two crafts. Yeah, that's right. Right out of an Air Force Base, that's where they house Hangar 18. Hangar 18 is not an Area 51, okay? But, Area 51, remember, was always considered a secret. Until 1984, when the government had to admit that it did buy 80,000 acres of land and build a fucking base there and conduct experiments where they conducted experiments uh, on uh, retro engineers perhaps even non-conventional vehicles right based on UFO technology that they had acquired from crashed discs or cigars like the one the mothership because cigars are the mothership, all right? And uh, yes, from which lots of other little ones, uh, little UFOs come out of. I've seen also in some footage from many decades ago. Let's not go through the list of contactees. George Adamski, right, from Mount Palomar there, worked at the observatory.